Hi everybody, I'm going to show everybody how to make nice paintings, string art paintings, things like this. Or this one. I'm going to show you hopefully a trick to avoid getting it too sloppy. Something like this one. This one I'll show you to how uh, to avoid getting something like this where it's, it's running. So all you're going to need is uh, a bigger old book that you don't care if you get some paint on. Uh, so I just got an old phone book here. I've got some uh, old newspapers put down on the table so I don't get paint on the table. I've got a thing of washable paint, but any paint should work. Some string. Blank paper. I've got two different size papers, so whatever size paper you like to use. And uh, some paper towels to clean up. Uh, so this will make uh, for some nice crafts. Mother's Day is coming up in a couple of weeks, so you could make some nice Mother's Day uh, pictures. You could even turn something. This one's still a little bit wet, so I don't want to fold it too much, but you could uh, kind of fold it either way and make it a Mother's Day card if you wanted to do something like that. Uh, so I'm showing you how to do this. So first, you're going to take your piece of paper. I just have a regular computer-sized piece of paper here. You're going to want to fold it in half. do that. Take whatever book you're using. Like I said, in my case, I've got an old phone book here. Just open it up. Take your paper, open your paper up, and place it in the book that you're using. You're going to cut off some pieces of string. I already have a bunch of string that I've been using, uh, so I'm going to use some of the string that I have. So in this case, I've got a, this one's been dipped in blue already. I'm going to take my blue paint, And you're going to kind of uh, want to ball that string up some. Put it down in the paint. What you can even do is uh, kind of put the cap on, give it a shake or two. I like to leave it in there for right now until I'm ready for all of my string to be pulled out. Uh, so I'm going to set the blue aside. Let's do, I'm going to wipe my fingers off so I don't get blue paint on a different color string. Let's do pink. So I got my pink string that I've been using. Do the same thing, so just kind of ball that up some so you can get it in that thing of paint. I've got my pink pink paint here. Put that down in there. I hand off my pink lid. Give it a good shake or two. I'm going to leave that in there for right now. And let's do one more color. Let's do purple. So I've got some string that I was using for purple a little bit ago. Going to do the same thing, just kind of ball that up. So you can do as many colors as you want. You can do one color, however you like to do it. Put that string, though, in whatever color you're using. Do the same thing. Find my purple lid. Give it a good shake. I'm going to go back to my blue, the first color that I put in there, the first string that I use. So what you're going to do is, uh, so the cap's not screwed on, but it's just kind of sitting on there right now. So take, you don't want to put all the string in there. You do, you do want part of your string not with paint on it, so you can hold it. And what you're going to do is kind of open the cap up. And to avoid getting it messy like that one painting that I showed you, kind of pull the string out so it's going between the cap and the bottle. So it's kind of getting some of that excess paint off from there. You don't have to pull real hard. You might have to get your fingers a little bit messy here for a second. But pull that out. And put the string on your uh, one half of your white side, uh, white piece of paper. You can put it any design you want. So I've just kind of have it squiggly there. So we're done with that blue. Let's take my pink paint. Do that same thing. Just have some of that string left over, not in the paint and pull it out of there so you're getting some of that excess paint on there. If you have too much paint on the string, it gets too too messy and doesn't come out real nice, but just pull that out. The size of string doesn't matter. Um, I would say probably you want at least about a foot or so of string. If you have more string, that's fine. Um, but you do want to have enough that you have enough paint uh, on the string to be able to put it on your piece of paper. But do the same thing. You put that string on half the side of paper. Um, whatever design that you want. You want that white piece that you don't have paint on hanging over the edge. And I'm going to show you why here in a second. And get my last color that I'm using, the purple. Do that same thing. 
Just run it through there so you're getting some of that extra paint off. But I am using washable paint right now, so that's nice. Um, if you do it on your fingers or anything, you can wash it off real easily. So I've got that string. This one's obviously longer than uh, a, a foot, like I said. Um, but as long as you have enough string here with paint on it, and put that string on whatever design that you like. Tricky part. Make sure you have that white white part sticking over the edge. Close this. So you've got the the white side of paper that you don't have any string on uh, and close it down on there like that. You want to take your hand, you don't have to push with all your force, but just kind of push down some on the book. And then what you're going to want to do is take the ends of the strings that are sticking out from the book, pull them out. You don't have to pull real hard, just enough force to get the string out of there. So we're done with the string. Open this book up to where we were. And there you go. So I've got a, a string art painting like this. Like I said, Mother's Day is coming up in a few weeks. Could make for some good Mother's Day presents. Have fun with this and have a good day. Bye-bye.